it barely sunk in this morning that, you know, my baby is gone. And I'm just like, why? I, I don't know why. And I don't even know if I do know why. On Monday, Kendretta Johnson says she got the worst news of her life. Her son, 18-year-old Elijah Johnson, was shot and killed. Investigators believe his cousin, Sir Amir, is to blame. I never let them get into arguments where it got like this. I never let them get in arguments where it got far to where they wanted to hurt each other. You know, no, I didn't raise them like that. The biological cousins are more like brothers. Both were raised by Kendretta. Son, it doesn't make any sense. It, I, it, I mean... I, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm, it doesn't. It doesn't. The boys lived together nearly all their lives and just recently set out on a new adventure, leaving their home of Mississippi behind for Arizona. This is just so mind boggling because they were so close. Like when you seen Elijah, you seen Sir. You know, like it just don't make no sense. My baby would have done anything. It don't make no sense. A mother who already lost one son now feels like she's lost two. I tried my hardest. I tried. She says she has no idea how to process one son's death and the pain of grieving the son responsible, Sir Amir. I want him to know I'm not mad at you. I still love you. <laughs> I'm so glad he's in custody because I don't want people to get revenge. I just want everybody to celebrate the life of Elijah and I just want justice. So heartbreaking. And Condretta tells me that she has a GoFundMe page set up to help her family with travel arrangements and funeral costs. We'll have that on our website at azfamily.com. Guys. Sarah, and when it comes to the shooting on Monday, she said they were so close as cousins. Do we know what might have led up to him opening fire? She has no idea what this argument even could have been about. Police say the two were heard in a verbal argument allegedly before this shooting took place. At this point in time, we don't have any details on that, but as this investigation continues, we'll be sure to keep you updated. Reporting live in Sun City, I'm Sarah Robinson for Arizona's Family. All right, Sarah, thanks. Still to come.